What's good, you guys? Welcome back to another vlog. So right now, we're currently outside. If you guys watched the last vlog, you saw that uh, the kids are older now, so going outside with them is a lot easier. Like right now, they're just playing. Like I don't have to be like following right behind them, making sure that they're okay. They're at a good age where they can explore and have fun. Open, Mooch wants me to open my protein shake that's already gone. But anyways, this is um, usually after the kids eat breakfast in the morning. So I'll take KK to school, come back, um, sometimes Nas has already started breakfast while I take KK to school, but if she has to get like straight to like filming or getting ready for an event or whatever the case, then I'll make breakfast when I come back from dropping KK off. After breakfast, we actually play in the living room a little bit, watch TV, kind of let me unwind a little bit because from the second I wake up, it's like straight into it. I wake up, I have to wake up the babies, change their diapers, get them ready, get their clothes on, wake up KK. Uh, Lately, he's been helping me out by picking out his own clothes before school and getting himself dressed, which is a big uh, help and a time saver for me. So yeah, so KK will actually pick out his own clothes now, get himself dressed, which saves me a lot of time. But then I come downstairs, I pack his lunch, do his hair, put on his shoes, get him ready for school, get him out the door. We head to school, I drop KK off, come back, the babies have breakfast, and then we go outside for at least an hour. I like to be out here for at least an hour just for them to use up some energy before their nap, first of all. But also, we know how important the sun is, how important getting that vitamin D is. So the fact that they're coming out here every morning and getting that, um, it's incredible. And now that the weather's been a lot more consistent, we've been coming out here every single day. And they have so much fun right now. They're literally pushing each other around in the cars. But yeah, that's usually how we start the morning. And after their nap, it's kind of when I get into my work and the things that I need to do for the day. This one already comes with stuff inside, so I don't have to buy it. It comes with toys on the inside. I already got those two. The other one too, so that down for room free. No, you only need to bring 12. Only you guys so on those last clips you saw we went to the store kk has to bring um they said bring 12 easter eggs with treats inside of them for his school tomorrow ended up finding these pre-filled eggs at ralph's which is also kroger uh, depending on where you live but ralph's these are pre-filled with 16 unique toys inside so i get 16 eggs and 16 toys already inside so i don't even have to do all the extra work of opening them and putting candy inside then I also don't have to overload all the kids with candy. Like whenever we do stuff like this and like Valentine's Day and stuff like that, I always try and find like a healthy alternative or maybe something like this where it's not candy. Just because I'm not like that stickler, like it's Halloween, they don't need all this candy. But like at the end of the day, they are taking home a bag full of candy and stuff like that. Like, so I don't want to like overdo it. You know, they'll, KK will have enough candy tomorrow. I'm not going to say that he can't have it, but don't, definitely don't want to overdo it. So the fact that I could find something that was pre-filled with toys, that was nice. What's good, y'all? So today we have a shoot for this project that Nas and Yasmin have been working on. I'm not sure how much information I can give, so I'll keep it very vague at that. We do have a shoot today. Me and my boy Oleg, he's going to be doing photography. I'm going to be doing video. So right now I'm just getting my stuff together, packing up my bags. Two camera bags I'm going to be bringing. Really for these type of shoots, especially when it involves like Nas, but specifically for these type of shoots where it's like um, projects and visions and things like that. I want to make sure that I have everything packed, like every possible accessory. Like I want to make sure that anything is possible. So if there's something that 
that they want done or a type of shot that they want, I want to make sure that I have the items to do that. So I have to pack a little bit more than what I typically would for like a photo shoot or something like that where I know like, okay, they're going to want these photos. Da, da, da. But when you're working, especially like working with my wife, she's going to treat me a little bit different than like I would on a set where they'd be like, oh, well, if you can't do it, then it's okay. You know, so when it's with your wife, it's a little bit different. She's like, no, I'll make it happen. So I want to make sure I have every accessory, every little thing uh, that I need just in case. A lot of this stuff I'm probably not even going to use, but I'm going to have it just in case. All right, y'all. So I just hooked up the mic. Hopefully the audio is working well. But this is my first bag. This is my newest camera bag. It's kind of like my, honestly, one of my favorites, to be honest. It's a little bit smaller, more compact, but I like, this is hard shell right here. Hard shell at the top. It just has a flip down. Put a couple things in there. Has the, comes with different organizers so I can organize it how I want. But, I, what I really like about this bag is, let me see which side it's on, is it has this zipper on the side for you to, so you can just grab your camera out. So, so say I have my camera sitting right here, I could just open this little side part, grab my camera, and have it immediately. So like if you're traveling or walking around a city or something like that, this is a perfect bag to have because you can carry all your accessories. I've said this before in a vlog, but just in case somebody missed it, this is my work camera. This is a Nikon Z6. Whenever I'm doing professional work, photographies, parties, events, studio sessions, whatever the case may be, this is the camera that I use. Um, probably in the next year or two, I'm going to want to upgrade. Uh, that's the only thing about cameras is that there's constantly new uh, cameras and new upgrades and stuff like that. But the camera you guys will see me do a lot of photography content with, most of my street photography, when I travel, when I'm out with the kids, it's taken on this, which is the Fujifilm X100V. This is my baby, this is my everyday camera. I use this so much, like literally, if I just wanna grab a quick flick of the kids or whatever the case, I pick up this camera. It's great, great, great camera. Highly recommend. It was sold out for a long time because like the popularity on it picked up like crazy. These are my DJI mics. Um, so it comes with two. This is like the creator pack. So it comes with two of them. You plug this part, you attach it to your camera using one of these adapters or you can attach it to your phone. Attach it to your camera, your phone. And then these connect to this middle part super easy. Nas actually loves using these for her voiceovers. And then also going in this bag, I'll put the chargers. This is the charger for my Nikon, or chargers and extra batteries for my Nikon. And then here's the cameras. I mean, here's the batteries and charger for my Fuji film that I just showed you guys as well. And then I have this flash. This is the flash for this Fuji camera. Just got this not too long ago. I love it. Gives a nice like vintage flash photography look. For the most part, that's it for this bag. I'm not going to overstuff it because the camera that I'm, this camera that I'm filming on right now will also probably go in this bag. So here's bag number two. This was my first ever camera bag. It's an Amazon Basics bag. Uh, well, I guess I should say it's my first ever camera backpack. So like, uh, I've had camera bags before this, but this is my first camera backpack. It's cool and all, but it was just so big and bulky. Like, it has three like layers that you can open it's just so big and bulky so here's the difference if you can't honestly you can't really tell they look the same but trust me this one is like a little bit smaller more compact and just better and this one doesn't have the hard shell riding the chevy going low and slow six seven impala on 84 cruise control baby i know we just pulled up to the venue I guess it's in photography, it's called the location, not the venue. Here's your makeup bag, babe. I need to get like a little cart or something. Yeah, a wagon. Yeah. Can you slide this in there too? Fuck, that's something to throw up. It's gonna throw up. Oh my god, as you're vlogging. 
It's not like that in there. I'm gonna tell everybody what's going on with you. And I got the mic on, so they heard you. Right, dead. When I was filming it, I was behind him. I was like, I feel like I'm gonna blow up. At least you ain't say it's take a shit. At least you ain't take a shit or fart or something. Ain't no game. Wait, we don't have enough space for all this. We have enough space when you make enough space. Let's go. I had to break it down the dirty way they shiver in the cold. So we riding in the Chevy going low and slow. Six, seven and Paula on 84. What's good, you guys? So me and the fam, we just drove out to Santa Monica to go to one of my good friends, Bagel Shops. I actually went to high school with her, which is crazy to like for us to have gone to high school together. Now I'm in Santa Monica at her bagel shop. Crazy. But shout out to you, Sammy. It's called uh, Layla's Bagels. Sissy. Looking for a sister. But it's called Layla's Bagels in Santa Monica. I promise you the best bagels in all of LA. That's why we were drive all the way to Santa Monica for breakfast to have them. Right, Kay? Right, Poppy? Mm. Right? What's good, you guys? So we just got the bagels. Or I should say I just got the bagels, huh? Uh, I was and we're back in the car. Wifey's here enjoying her bagel. The Laika. The Laika. Baby's in the back. Hi, I took I took Poppy in the restaurant with me, so he went with me to pick up the food. Poppy. Let's see yours. Nas just has the like a spin on the lox, like a remix version of like a lox bagel. Looks very delish, even though I don't eat smoked salmon. Alright guys, so here's mine. Oh look at that. Look at that cross section. It's called the Ollie. It's a turkey sandwich with cucumbers, uh, sprouts, um, avocado, and this uh, Dijon aioli on it. Very delicious. Now get it on a sesame bun, or sesame bagel. Let's get into this first bite. Mm. I feel like whenever sprouts are added to a sandwich, it's a little bit healthier. Like, you know what I mean? Like you taste the freshness. What's good, you guys? Uh, so now today is our anniversary. I'm not sure if I mentioned it on the vlog yet so far, but today is March 29th. That is Nas and I's five-year marriage anniversary today, which is crazy. Big uh, milestone. Yeah, huge milestone. I think that's like pretty big for you know young marriages, especially to make it to the five-year mark. We're here. We have. Uh, we're at this uh, spa retreat that I ended up booking for Nas and I. So we're about to go in and enjoy that. But I wanted to just talk to you guys before we went in, so you guys understood why we're here. Because I don't think that I mentioned to the vlog yet that um, it's our anniversary. So today is our anniversary. We've had a lot going on, so it wasn't like some big like lead up, like oh, our anniversary is this mm -hmm. Friday. We're literally just doing this, then we're like going back home. We might go for like a little walk and stuff, but we just want to relax. Just I'm tired, y'all. Yeah, and literally yesterday we were on set for like so, 2 to 9 p.m. Yeah, from literally we left the house at 1 o'clock, didn't get back home until almost 10 p.m. So we're like drained as far as it goes for celebrating. I asked mom, I'm like, did you book us a dinner tonight? Because if you did, cancel it. Because I do not feel like doing my makeup and going to dinner. Yeah. Like, I just want to spend time. Like, we don't even like just chill at the end of the night and like watch TV together. Like, that's yeah. how busy we are. We just started watching TV together like two days ago. Yeah. We've only watched like two episodes. So we used I was to like, like, I don't need a dinner. I don't yeah. need to get ready. I'm not in the mood. Like, I We just used wanna... to constantly have a show, but we've had so much going on that like, we haven't been able to sit down and watch TV. So we're just gonna do this and then we're gonna go home, might go for a walk, just have pretty much a regular night, put the kids to sleep and then just enjoy being together once the kids are asleep. Usually once we put the kids to sleep, we kind of like separate, do our own things, maybe watch our own shows or clean up or whatever. But tonight we're gonna focus on each other. So we'll see you guys when we get inside. All right, so we just got changed, put on our robes. As you can see, a little sneak peek of the outside. So we're literally on, like, at a house inside of a neighborhood, but they've... We're at a house in Tarzan. <laughs> literally, but they've turned it into, like, this beautiful spa. Like, this is in the pool house, and this is where we'll be getting our massage. So relaxing in here. They got nice little music playing that you see outside. Let's take a look. 
So we get this whole back yard area to ourselves. See how nice it is. Beautiful pool. Literally feels like we're at a resort. So guys, we get to get in this hot tub and then they're gonna bring like food out for us while we're in the hot tub. That looks cozy over there. This little thing looks super cozy. Yeah, guys, here's another, here's another overview. So guys, they just brought us out this tray of coconut water and water. Is this, would this be considered water or milk? Coconuts produce milk, technically, right? I don't know, but coconut water actual water there's a little flower in there uh they're working on right now warming up the the hot tub it's like not cold but it's not like a hot, hot tub. tub it's like a heated pool yeah it's like a heated pool right now it's so working on warming it up it's like a nice day today like weather wise but it's not super hot so so we got the champagne it's a nice bottle too champagne Pop a little champeasy. Champeasy. So I learned when I was somewhat interested in becoming a sommelier that when you open champagne, you're not supposed to like pop and explode. It's supposed to be slowly. That is the correct way to crack open a bottle of champagne. It's not supposed to spill all over your hand. That's wasting this expensive bottle. People do it for the I know, I know, effect. I know. It's for the traumatics, but I'm just saying. Oh, oh, oh look, that's, that's your karma. A little fizz is fine. But, like, I learned that because I think we went to Crustacean one year for my birthday, and the guy told, taught me that. Why are you doing cheers? Just, oh, that's tart. I need some cheese and wine to go with it. All right, guys, so cheers to five years, three healthy Ooh. kids. Cheers. It's really crazy how we got pregnant with Vaughn three months after we got married. So it's like perfect in one year. And we like promised guys months. that was not. It was definitely not on purpose. Not on purpose. A lot of people were like, you guys only got married because you knew Nas was pregnant. No. Yeah, in like three months? No. Like, how does that make sense? <sighs> this is good though. Mm -hmm. It's tart mm -hmm. at the beginning, but it's sweet too. Jimmy. So guys, the water's starting to warm up now. Still no jets, but I mean, the water's nice. Cold is outside of the water. Can we stay in it? It's like the metal straw just makes it hit a little different. Yeah. Babe, do you know what we look like right now? Mm. From the Amanda show, remember? Where they had that hot tub segment? Babe, you can't bring that up right now. Let's get the meat. Babe, it's like slippery and slimy. It's like an oyster. Okay, here, look, look, look. I got some. I bet we could do our ballet tricks easy in here. I babe. know. You could probably lift me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, they just brought the food out to us on this floating tray. And everything looks so good. There's these chicken sandwiches that look divine. Fruit. A little bit of dragon fruit. It looks like a pudding dessert. Cheesecake looks delish. Wow, how cute. I'm not sure what this all, this is, but it looks like little slices of like pear. Yeah, look, ooh, like gorgonzola. Yeah. Oh, it's a little fruit. Easter dessert. Yeah. Cute. The chicken sandwiches look so good. I can't wait to bite into that. That looks very delish.
the bridge after midnight See the girls upside down So I just got to the gym. It's been a super long day. It was a fun day though. I spent the whole day with the kids. So so after the clips that you saw of me putting the factory meals away, uh, we just ate dinner. I made some rice and some ground chicken and we just made like little rice bowls. Uh, Nas and I, the kids ate some leftover pizza. Uh, but I just pulled up to the gym, about to get a quick workout in. It's not really my preferred time to come to the gym at night, to be honest. I prefer to go um, you know, during the day. So it's been tough to continue to 6 a.m. workouts, but my plan is to, within the next couple of weeks, get that back into my routine. Once I can get back working out uh, every day at like 6 a.m., um, you know, I know that I'll be super consistent because when I'm working out at night, it's not always consistent because sometimes we have stuff going on. Some nights we're busier than others, and so I can't make it to the gym. Um, but I know that if I wake up at 5.30, go to the gym, I'm going to be able to do that every single day, even the weekends. Good job, Kay. Where's KK? Twenty buckets. Twenty buckets? Yeah. Whoa. Poppy. Poppy, say yeah, yeah, yeah. 